ladies and gentlemen. Today on The Average Garage, we are going to be prepping and painting the rocker cover and the block, getting ready for the barrow rebuild. So you can see the ELs in the background here. So I'm just gonna shift this out the shed and I'm gonna do it all in a shed today just to try and prevent any wind and dust kicking up and sand and shit uh, and landing in the paint. So it's not gonna be perfect, but it's an engine. It doesn't have to be perfect. So yeah, we're gonna see how we go. I've got some 1K primer filler and I've got some 2K paint, which is a direct gloss, so it won't need clear coat. So yeah, let's uh, do a little experiment and see how we go. later. Right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the block is now in primer. It's all a nice whitish, like a light gray or a white, and so is the rocker cover. So tomorrow, when it warms up a bit again, uh, it's a bit late now, but tomorrow I will wet sand all this again, clean it all up again, and then we can hit it with some color, and it should be fantastic, so stay tuned.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, so as you can see, the block is painted, the rocker cover down there is all painted. It's a very nice color. So you probably can't see properly at the moment. Um, yes, there's imperfections, but it's literally a shed spray can job, so I'm not fussed. But it is like a purple with a lot of fleck in it. So I'm stoked. It's gonna be a little bit different. It should tie in well with the engine bay and the other accents that I'm gonna put on it. So we'll see. But for now, I'm gonna start pulling off all this masking. Um, and then we can get started on actually building the engine. So stay tuned. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so you've just seen me paint the rocker cover and the block and it looks amazing. It is a rattle can job, it does have a few imperfections, but I also took my time and made it look as best I can. So I did a smart thing by covering up the engine number so that's still visible. When it goes to the pits and engineering, they need to see the engine number and they will scratch the paint off with a screwdriver to try and find it. So I've masked that up so now it's nice and clean and very easy to find. So I'll show you the paint now. And then I have a bit of bad news. So as you can see, looks very nice. I've got to wax some core plugs in there. It's got a bit of fleck in it. That's me engine number there. But look at this. Look at that. Not bad for a rattle can job. It is two pack, so it should last a while and it should be heat resistant. Um, yeah, that was supplied by Variety Paints and More in Wangara. Thank you very much. Um, they didn't hook me up. They're not sponsored or anything, but I appreciate their work. Now, the bad news, all right, so the bad news, so my factory cams are quite pitted. I bought a secondhand set of cams, but I did find on one of them, this pitting here, which means I need to find new cams. I've got my sump gasket in here, my piston ring compressor is rocked up, and some ultra gray for the assembly of the motor. So I've got to sort the cam situation out, but that can be sorted out later on. So in the next episode, which is coming up very soon, I will be putting the engine back together, everything bar what I can't do, obviously. Uh, everything else is gonna get painted up, so I should probably get a move on with that. Cleaned it up with an oven, oven cleaner and chuck some paint on some bits like the timing cover and that. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the head's down there, pistons are down there, I just need to clean them up. Um, make sure everything's Mickey Mouse, measure everything, put it all back together, and then we're good to go. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode. It may be short, it may be sweet, I don't know, you may hate it. But anyways, the good stuff's coming, so stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and we'll see you all in the next video when we're putting this piece together. Cheers, guys, and we'll see you then.